Hey guys, just a quickie from me. Um, yesterday, obviously, I gave you a quick update on what was going on with FNAF 9. Um, and we, of course, we got a new teaser, we've got all the characters' names, and we found out that the name of FNAF 9 is FNAF Pizzaplex. Now, going on from that, today we've actually had another thing just completely released out of nowhere that spoils the characters. So, not only do we now know the animatronics' names, the name of the entire game, but we also know the characters and how they look. So, this is official, um, but I'm not sure if this is still online or whatever. But basically on Amazon, this wall calendar has been uploaded. Um, and it's, as you can see, it is a 2021 16 month wall calendar um, with three of the characters on it. Um, and this gets me really excited. Now before I say anything, um, if you're looking at this and thinking, that looks so bad, I don't want to play the game. Don't think that, because these are just drawings, interpretations, um, and the real model animatronics, I reckon, are going to look really original and really cool. Um, but Scott's done some work. <laughs> these characters are very different to any that we've seen before. Um, so let's go through them one by one. We'll start with the centre of the attraction, uh, big old glam rock Freddy. So I really like his face design. It's really cool. Um, he's got he's got like nice face paint. It really does remind me of like for example David Bowie if you know who he is. I'll show you a picture. Anyway, it kind of reminds me of that, and of course he is the main singer. Um, it, yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. It's a really good design, I really like all the colour on it. Really cool. He's even got these like shoulder blades, which is like uh, kind of, I guess, Michael Jackson style. I think I've said that before with the f like flare, flare trousers, but um, yeah, it's kind of Michael Jackson style. Uh, let's move on to Montgomery Gator. Uh, who is the one on the left, the green one, the big green alligator. Um, actually, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. I kind of like it. Um, not as kind of vibrant as maybe I, I, I hoped. Um, very green and yellow um, with a little kind of like Roman soldier uh, mohawk on him. <laughs> Nice guitar, he's got a long tail. I can see these being quite scary in the actual game. Uh, and finally, on the right, is Roxanne Wolf, um, who has kind of similar designs to both of them in the fact that they have like these shoulder blades and all their, their like legs are the shape, same shape and stuff. What I'm noticing is she's also... Is that a tail? It might just be her hair, but she's got really long hair, which we haven't really seen in that. Like. So these, these are kind of more lively, and I think as Matt Pat is saying, this is an entire reboot of the entire series. Like, we've had the main, what, six, seven games, um, and that's all one timeline. And now, it's being re rebooted after FNAF VR, and it's saying that all of those games is part of one big game, okay, based on real life events. And now we're moving on, and we're not we're not telling the story of William Afton anymore. We're telling the story of Vanny and the army of glitch traps. So um, I really do think he's rebooting it well. He's getting some vibrance out there, and he's making some really original characters, and I see it doing well. So yeah, that's all we got for now. Um, hopefully, I can update you soon on some more FNAF news. I don't know if we're gonna get any more. But this is really cool, we now know the names of the animatronics, the name of the entire game, and what the animatronics look like. So, and all of that was before Scott even released anything. So, um, this is incredible. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next update video. Goodbye!